Sounds kind of loose in there. I got this box in the mail. This was from eBay. This is, I'm not gonna, it's not a surprise. This is a broken Xbox. I bought this Xbox for $15. We're gonna take this thing to the bench and we're gonna plug it in first and see if it does anything. So join me over there. My blue test controller. It's nothing great, but it works pretty good for the most part. The system is wired up to my test TV. We're going to power it up together and see what it does. Here it goes. Power's up. That's a good sign. Looking good. Okay, so it said stuck disk tray, which is a pretty common thing. heavy-duty fishing line. There's a little hole right here to the left of the eject button under the DVD Do you want to see that on here? Tray. Eh, we'll kid it again. Okay. So you put your line in the hole and you hit eject. Oh, there we go. So, the tray did come out, which is good. We've got a test game up here. Crimson Skies. Pop this baby back out of here. Alright. So, it may sound like a basket case, and that's why it was a $15 Xbox on eBay. I'm going to shut this thing down, I'm going to open it up, and I'll show you how to make it work. Because the system works and powers up and it seems like it gets onto the menu, that's a good sign. If it didn't do that, we'd have other problems. So we're starting out with a good thing if it's just the disc tray. So, let's shut it off. Try it again. It clunks around a lot. I'm surprised it works at all. Okay, so you can kind of get your fingers under the back ledge and the side. Pull it up a little bit. Holding down the base. Okay. What is clunking around? That's what's clunking around. Yeah. The drive isn't even screwed down. No, and they didn't like do an upgrade or anything. It's just sitting in there. Oh, that's right. That is inside of that thing, and holy cow! Dirty. Look at right there's the clock capacitor. Look at how bad that is. Zoom. I'll bring it closer to the. You can see that? Oh, yeah. Not sure if you'd be able to see the black. That capacitor right there. Uh, All that crustiness in there. Crap. That ruins a lot of Xboxes. Hmm. We can fix that. Those go and they leak electrolyte out all over the board. So you can see that stickiness all around here, around this chip, all this crusty grossness. That's all electrolyte. What that usually does is it gets on the other side of this board right here, and there's fine traces that run all along these side. And those, actually right there, work the power and eject button and your controller ports and we're gonna clean up all this stuff the best we can for right now because we're gonna change that clock capacitor but we want to clean up this board best we can and get all this electrolyte off of here look at that look at how gross is that right so here's the board cleaned up there's the new clock capacitor right there and that is the one I took out of there pretty gross so luckily we caught this one in time there was no damage to the board
uh, whatever model, whatever make DVD drive you have, all of a sudden the tray doesn't spit out anymore when you push the button, it won't eject. Um, sometimes the tray won't go all the way back in. It can just be a mess. Right here is the problem. This little belt will just stretch. They're old, it's only rubber. When that goes, this piece here kicks this dry kicks this out so it kicks the little door a little bit and then the gear takes over and it drives the door the rest of the way out well without this being tight this can kick all at once and this doesn't know what's happening because this isn't snug so I put a new belt on here already it's easy enough you just pop it right on with a screwdriver and uh, that's it I just scraped about 10 pounds of dust and cat hair out of the inside of this thing be right back so here it is. It's back together. I cleaned it. Looks a lot better, right? Well, that's a little clean and a little pledge will make things wonderful. All right. So I got my test controller hooked up here. We are hooked up to the TV. I'm gonna hit the power button. See what happens. It's a good sign so far. Xbox Fire is up. Okay, well, I did that before. I still have control. That's a good thing. Alright, let's check out this eject button now. Uh, see what a new belt will do? And I still don't know if that DVD drive even works, but I did clean the eye and uh, dusted it out and put the new belt in. So let's try Crimson Skies again. It's a little noisy, but it reads. How about that? Yeah, the drive was pretty crusty in there to begin with, so you know, it did blow some dust around and who knows. But it is reading. The disc is spinning, the Xbox is running. $15 worth of eBay junk. Looks pretty sharp right now. Well, I don't know about you guys, but that looks like a working Xbox to me. Look at that, I can fly. Well. <laughs> Alright, well that's it for now. One broken Xbox. So here it is. Came up pretty good. You saw it was just eBay junk, but you know, one man's trash is another man's treasure. So this is pretty cool, and we're gonna save this for a future episode. We're gonna mod this thing up, and from there, I don't know what'll happen to it. We'll see. But uh, I'll let you know. So that was just a little something. There's a lot more to come in the future. The tour will go on, you'll see a lot more of this room, and you'll know a lot more about our collection. So, I'm Frank, and my camera girl is Cheryl. Hi there. We will talk to you real soon. I guess that's it for now. We'll uh we'll see you soon.